Like a shadow from dark clouds, Lord Carthor of Ixoro swept through the realm of Valtoria. Better known as Ixorians, Carthor's brutal warriors were the people's biggest fear, conquering lands and raiding and killing everything in sight. In fear of being invaded, many of the Valtorian lords switched sides and joined the monstrous Carthor. In an attempt to create a counterweight, some of the Western Lords formed an alliance and confronted Carthor at the Battle of Bekrin. The battle was fought between evenly matched armies, and to break the tie, Lord Varian, the ruler of Bekrin, made his way all through the back line and challenged the mighty Carthor himself. The fighting stopped, and with anticipation the men watched every step Lord Varian took as if their lives depended on it. As he approached, he raised his sword sky high, and without any attempt to parry, Carthor was hit with a swing that was sure to kill even a giant. But as thunderous as the strike was, there was no thunder to be heard, and no blood to be seen. With terror in the soldiers' eyes, they all deeply listened for the clashing sound to sear through the masses, but the silence that followed was deafening. Lord Berrien looked as if he had seen a ghost, and without realizing, he was pulled close by the seemingly unaffected Carthor. The shock was so great that Lord Berrien did not notice the dagger. The men got a searing sight that day, one that would haunt them forever. With the army's morale completely devastated, there was no need to call for retreat. The troops had already begun to run. Commander Highmore, ruler of the Valtorian capital Vascleon, opened his mouth to shout his command, but the words were soon interrupted as his throat was sealed by a black arrow. The battle was lost, and suddenly the sky appeared dark. And so seemed the future.